Hello everybody, welcome to The Rock and Crystal's channel, and today we are going to be talking about something of particular interest to me, and that is crystals in our ancient history. You will find references that date all the way back to ancient times of crystals. The Atlanteans were said to have had advanced technology and a power supply that was based upon crystals and gems in jewelry materials uh, for building pyramids and also magical burial rites. Crystals throughout time have served as powerful allies all over the world. Crystals have been around since the beginning of time, in fact, through millions and billions of years of the Earth's transformation and working with them is a powerful way to connect with that primal, raw, ancient, transformational energy of nature and Earth. Crystals were used by several ancient cultures for protection in battle against evil forces and during travel. Ancient Egyptians lined their tombs with and inlaid the coffins of their pharaohs with crystals such as carnelian and lapis lazuli to ward off evil and to provide safe passage to the afterlife. The ancient Roman sailors used aquamarine to help protect them at sea. The ancient Egyptians used to ground up crystals and create cosmetics, actually, in a wide array of colors, from bright blue to green eyeshadow. Uh, the powder of Cleopatra was made from uh, ground up lapis lazuli and malachite crystals. <clears throat> uh, this well known Egyptian king, Tutankhamun, also had inlays of lapis lazuli crystal in his mask with black obsidian uh, in the pupils turquoise, carnelian, and even more. The other ancient civilizations used, or rather other, not the other, but other ancient civilizations used crystals for their spiritual practices as well. The ancient Egyptians used them in their burial, burial rituals with clear quartz crystals placed over the foreheads of the dead, as they believed that the crystals would help protect them in their journey to the afterlife. During the Han Dynasty in China, the Chinese emperors were buried in elaborate suits made with jade crystal as a symbol of power and wealth. The crystal gridding techniques were a part of ancient temple building mysteries as well. In building, the first step would have been to ask the goddess or god for permission to build. This is why they may have found deep wells using dousing methods, methods rather, to find vortex spots <clears throat> if water or magnetic energy crossed and ran underground. This would become the power points by where which they would anchor sacred energy with a crystal grid, and this would have been yeah, the foundation for whatever physical structure was then later built. Today, you will find crystals uh, using extensive uh, used rather extensively in technology. One example is that crystal quartz can conduct electricity and is used to keep time in watches. Crystals are used as well in LCD create LCD screens rather that is liquid crystal display LCD and LED and sonar. Ultrasound transmitters, technologies, and radios, uh, silicon crystals are the heart, in fact, of a lot of modern technology, with many rare earth minerals that are needed for all sorts of technologies, such as magnetics and, uh, and gold and coppers and, uh, and all these various uh, amazing uh, materials from the earth. Crystals are used in your television, your phone, your computer, and other electronic devices with LCD screens. The LCD screens rely in fact on crystals to help produce images. Isn't that interesting? Silicon, which is the primary element in quartz, is the basic material that is used in solar panels uh, and computer chips. Information that you store on a computer chip uses a form of quartz crystal, in fact. Crystals have been around longer than humans have inhabited the Earth, Earth obviously, and are uh, as popular now as they were in ancient times. And scientists are only beginning to understand the significance, in fact, of crystals. And the more they are researched and studied, the more important I believe they will become.
You can win a crystal by leaving a comment and letting us know what you love about crystals. Also be subscribed to this channel. We give away a new crystal with every video upload. If you're looking to buy crystals, we have some amazing deals available at our crystal shop. Link in the description below. Grab yourself a free copy of the Crystal Compendium, which has over 250 crystal definitions. Link in the description below. Join our crystal affiliate program if you'd like to make money selling crystals. We pay a 22 2% commission for referred sales. Enroll in our crystal healing course. Link in the description below along with the link to our affiliate program and check out the Crystal Meanings app in both the App Store and Google Play Store for crystal meanings and definitions at your fingertip. It's absolutely free, pun intended. And of course, be subscribed to this channel because we learn something about crystals every single day. And who doesn't love learning about crystals? Okay, have a great day.